I pay Olum Lupata, do swear to take thee, Jedida Udemba, to be my lawfully wedded husband from this day onward, according to God's law, to honor and to respect, in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, till death do us part. Hi, Jedidaya, Odembo. Do swear to take thee, Pierre Olum Lupata, to be my lawful wedded wife from this day onward, according to God's law, to honor and to respect in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, till death do us part. I now pronounce you both, man and wife. <coughs> you may now kiss the bride. My name is Pierre Olum Lupata, the first and only daughter of my parents. We are from Wanikade the northern part of Cross River State. I got married, and here are my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Lupata. Women. <laughs> Hi. You know what, my darling? Yes. As I was just in bed yesterday night, the things that were going through my mind were how to say a very big thank you to thank God you, Almighty Lord. for such a successful wedding of our daughter. Yes. It was such a big success. Mm -hmm. Oh God. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Go on. My phone is ringing. Mm. Yeah. Hey, it's daughter. Hello, darling. How are you? Hi, Daddy. Wow. How are you doing? How is your husband? Hope you're all good. We bless God. Pierre Olam. Eh? You always prove that you're indeed daddy's girl. Dad, what's mom saying over there? Just don't mind her. She's just being jealous. She's <laughs> jealous because you called me instead of her. Don't mind her. Oh, uh, tell her not to feel that way. I love you both equally. In fact, give her the phone. I know, darling, I know. Take jealousy. <laughs> So now you want to patronize me, right? No, Mom. I actually called you first, but you weren't picking up, so I had to call Dad. You called me? Oh, I'm sorry. My phone is here. I didn't hear it ring. That's your phone. Okay. That's all right. How are you doing? Ah, we are fine, thank you. And how is your husband? He's fine. He's even still sleeping. So I quickly said I should call you and Dad oh, to say thank, thank you for everything. Come on, daughter. You don't need to thank us. It is our responsibility, okay? We just need you to be a good girl. Mm -hmm. Just be a good girl to your husband. That is all. Mm -hmm. You heard your father, right? Yeah. Now you guys are just going to make me cry. You speak as if you're giving me oh, away. No, we're not giving you away. All we are saying is that you go forth in the union and be your best version. Be a good woman to your husband, right? Yes, mommy. Thanks a lot. Let me speak with dad now. Okay, you hold on for him. She wants to speak with you. <laughs> Hello, daughter. Yes, daddy. Thank you for the gift. By the way, you guys didn't carry your own cake. I'll send my chief bridesmaid to bring it over for you people. Oh, come on. Listen, daughter. Nobody needs sugar here. We are fine. Daddy, no. Keep it in the house and share it to the people who come to visit. <laughs> Listen, everybody that comes here will be all right. We have enough to give to everybody, okay? You don't need to worry. Just just take care of yourself and your husband, okay? We are fine. All right, bye, Dad. All right, daughter. Yes, I got to go now. You know, this is always my fruit breakfast hour. You know, you remember? That's good, that's good, okay. All right, bye, Dad. I love you. Love you too, daughter. I love you, Mommy. Ah! I love you too much, my too, baby girl. darling daughter. <gasps> Honey, she's missing home already. Please, leave me alone. Gossip. You want to start to run a social media page now. Really? You, 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 you are, she's missing you. Please, bring the rest of the, this into the pile. Okay. This is me and my husband. My routine as someone's wife has begun. We always do our morning walk out together before he dresses up for work.
Hope you enjoyed the meal. Yes, of course. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me. I'll be right back. All right. I don't know. You want a drink? I know you like to drink. Yeah. No. I like to drink. Though. Please. I don't want. I'm okay. I need some vodka in the house. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Eh? What makes you think uh, I'm not okay? But you, you just abandoned your guy like that. Huh? Jen, why are you talking like this? Huh? You know it's not possible. Well, it's been work. I need to work this work. I believe you and your wife needed this space from people like us. You know what I mean? Which space? Hmm. Who begged you for space? What? And please, what gave you the effrontery and audacity to walk in here without our wife to be? Uh huh. You're walking around alone mm. by yourself. I got it. It's obvious you two are ganging up against me, isn't it? it? Good for you. So next time, move around with your wife so that in situations like this, you have someone to fight with you. <laughs> Anyways, um, she would have been here with me, but um, needed to go to the market with her cheap bridesmaid, so I had no option than to come alone. Okay, I see. Well, next time, just bring her here, okay? So I can give her some coaching lessons. If you know what I mean. Ah, yes. Did you hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's been married for three minutes. She's very experienced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you done with that? Ask another spot in the marriage institute, isn't uh, it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Are you done with that? Excuse me, I'll be right back. Come all right, on. all right. Mm -hmm. Chessy Lottie man recovering. Oh, no. I'm good. 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 Look at him. Look at him. Just see how Popeye is playing like this the entire whole chapter. What is this? I swear, I don't, I don't even understand. 
These men are just dogs, though. They don't even care if you're married. They don't, though. They just ask you out with, like, like, mm -hmm. like it's their rights. Seriously. <laughs> you think these summer will be in town, give, they care about your marital status? They actually don't care. They will still trespass. Hmm. Just like that, that one I told you about uh, at the cinema. Yes, the one you said, you told you were married, and he said, mm -hmm. we were the enter house where they write behind hey! dogs. Hey! <laughs> I swear, they really don't care. This men, I'm okay. telling you, men are really dumb, mm -hmm. except your husband you and know, mine. Of course. So, how's your husband? He's fine. Mm -hmm. He went for a meeting when I came here. He's fine. So, tell me. Tell you what. How do you do it? Do what? Can you believe that my husband and I haven't had sex since we got married? I don't understand. Um, <clears throat> I don't understand. Are you trying to say he doesn't have... <clears throat> or what? I don't understand. That should be naughty right now, please. The thing is, I just, I just can't explain it, you know? Are you saying you're a virgin or what? Can we have this conversation another day? My husband is almost home, okay? You better be careful. You see these girls in town? They will just collect your husband. It's not this thing you're saying. We can discuss this another time, right? My husband is coming. I I'm sure that's him at the top of the street. No problem. Uh, so what are you saying? What I'm saying is that if you finish your drink, uh, then you go, then we'll continue this conversation another day. Uh, no problem. But you said, uh, like, what about that cream you told me about? What what are you saying about it? Hmm? Okay. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> of course, it's been a minute. Don't worry. I won't blame it on marriage. I'll see you soon, definitely. All right, little. Hi, darling. What's so, up? Mm. How's your day? My day was beautiful. Good. How was yours? <laughs> My day was great. Listen, I didn't just have a great day. I am super excited. <laughs> Tell me about it. Mm. So my friends added me to your WhatsApp group. Mm. My friends from church. Mm. And guess what? Mm. Daddy Gio has instructed that all married women must embark on a 30 days fasting and prayer. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Huh? That would mean good tidings for anyone who participates. Plenty of blessings. Oh, yeah. yes! Yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. This comes with submission, too. I'm sorry, what did you say? I was, I was just... I, no, nothing. I was just nothing. nothing. Whispering to yourself? No, I was just, you know, talking to myself and saying how, how happy I am because of this beautiful fast. Yeah, you seem that, more you know, excited than I am. <laughs> well, we should have excited. I'm excited for us. That's good. <laughs> Excuse me. There's some bad vibes. Hey, hey, hey. Come, on, come, come, come. Wait. I hope this fasting is not what I think it is. What are you thinking? I hope that this fasting will not stop us from entering Jericho. You know what, my darling? Let me tell you something. When people fast, they keep their sanctuaries holy. They keep their bodies, their spirit, their minds and their soul holy for God. I don't understand. Are you trying to say that maybe they maybe bathe five times a day or something like that? Listen, Jadida, don't involve me in your carnal talk. My fasting starts in exactly six hours. I need to prepare myself and be holy from God. And then we need to enter Jericho now. Excuse me. Come, 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 come. Wait, 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 wait. That's not going to work, oh. That's not going to work. <laughs> We're entering Jericho. Tonight, you understand? Yo, what's up, hype? What's up, boss? What's good? Am I a boss? Yeah, I want to ask you one question right now. Come on, boss. Do you think we deserve all the accolades we're getting right now? Basket full of it, sir. <laughs> you can say that you're basket full of it. That's the shit, boss. 
They ain't seen nothing yet. This is just a tip of an iceberg. Iceberg, but I'll tell you something, bro. Listen, it's real good. Attend there. Let's go out there and show them what we got. That's the shit, boss. Show them and give them some no, no shit. It's a no, no air day, boss. Say it again. It's a no, no air day, boss. You can do better than this. It's a no, no air day, boss. Say for the last time. It's a no, no air day, boss. Now let's go. Cheers. Good morning, darling. Okay, good morning to yourself. Um, I made you breakfast. Is that the breakfast? Is that the food I'm asking you to make? Is that the food they have been using to hungry me? But you need that for work. When you are ready to respect me and to focus on what matters in our relationship, then we will verse 2. That the king's heart is in your hands and you can turn it whichever way. Oh, Father Lord, I commit my home into your hands. I commit my husband's heart into your hands. Father Lord, may you hold his heart in your hands and turn it whichever way you want, Father Lord. Father Lord, I pray that every carnal thought in his mind, that we make sure that we do not enjoy the fruit of our labor in these 30 days of fasting and prayer that is for you, that is dedicated to you, that is meant to make us grace. Father Lord, I cast it. Father, I bind it. Father Lord, I send it into the abyss. Father Lord, I send it into the bottomless pit. Father Lord, I cast it. I bind. Father, I go into the bottomless pit in Jesus' name. Oh, Father Lord, cancel sex. Everything canal. Father Lord, anything that will make the make make sure that we do not reap our fruit. Oh, Father Lord, cancel sex. Father, cancel sex. Father, anything of the mind. Father, I cancel it. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus name. Hey, 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 shh. When you are done with this drama, Let us pray. hey, listen. In Jesus name. Meet me upstairs for my own prayer session. Make yourself useful. No, no, no. No let, let us pray. Which prayer? Canal. No, I'm done. Meet me for my own session. The thing, Upstairs. No, I will be naked waiting for you. No, the things of the hey, mind. Hey, what things of the mind? Don't keep me waiting, no. Hey, Jesus. I come just told you this right now. I said come upstairs. Let me go with you. Let me go with you. You're deceiving yourself there. In Jesus' name, oh, Father, sex, Father, carnal things of the mind, I cast it, I bind it. Oh, Father, Lord, turn my husband around so that he can be rich, very, very rich in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, yes, Lord. 
There's no point trying to tell Jed he can't have sex with me. I just have to use wisdom to avoid it by doing the things that will not even get him interested. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I've uh, transferred some money to your account to get some some food for the house. Stock up. Have you sorted out your issues now? Eh? What issues? Just go and take a shower now. Let me get your food. What are you talking about? You think I'm stupid? Oh, you think not having your bath will prevent me from wanting to have sex with you? Or you think I don't know you enough to know that the reason you have not taken your bath is because you are trying to use a tactic to avoid sex? Eh? You think I don't know? Try to stay concentrated. The no concentrate, Bukwiki. What nonsense? What are you talking about? I, 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 I did, did I ask you not to fast? But what is wrong between with, with having sex between the hours of six, six o'clock when you break the fast and twelve midnight when another day starts? Eh? That's what I'm asking you now. I say concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Mm. Now, the thing is, you're not thinking this thing through. You know, it is not good for us. You have to stay concentrated during the duration of your fast. It's my head that is not correct. Because you are mad, you're concentrating, concentrating, concentrating. Even God have time to have sex. What is your problem? Listen, what is so unclean between with sex between a husband and, and his wife? Eh? But it, it's perfectly biblical. Don't ask God. He knows. My husband, you are taking this thing too personally. 30 days is the whole fasting. It's only 28 days left. After the 28 days, you can do anything you want to do. Any dirty thing you are planning. I should be patient. Uh, uh -huh. Because my name is Patience, Jonathan. Eh? Eh? Look, listen. What if I die between those 28 days? Oh, I my generation is now gone. What, you what will not are you die. Dying? You will not die, my dear. Listen to me. This is going to be the last time we're going to have this discussion. Oh. Alright? Listen. If you cannot find a way to balance fasting and your marriage, you just may not have a marriage to return to when this nonsense is that over. That spirit speaking through you, I buy it and Tell I pass it. Tell the spirit to off your cloak and meet me off. What kind of talk is this to my husband? This is wrong, go. Oh. This is wrong. Eh? Ask anybody now. 30 days fasting. We have done two days. We are closer to the end now than the beginning. My husband. 28 more days, oh. Where did you go? Where have you been? Have you eaten anything? Uh, my husband, come now. Uh uh. Why, why, why are you doing this now? Eh? Why, why are you taking the whole thing this way? Oh, okay, come. Let's talk about it. Better leave that place now and go and sleep. They are disturbing the neighbors. So. 
My husband, now why are you like this now? Let's talk about it now. I don't want to talk again. Go and be talking to God, oh. Okay, okay, where am I going to start from now? Eh? I, I thought I was doing this thing for the betterment of our family. I was doing it for you, for me, for us. Now you're acting all irrational. I thought we had a pact that, that, that you will not go to bed angry. My husband, answer me now. Ask yourself what happened to that part. Good night, oh. Making arrangements. 
Oh. So you think that I won't find out, Abi? Madam CID, so you now eavesdrop on people's conversation. Good luck. Do it better next time. You are not going anywhere. I'm not even going anywhere yet. I'm just going to go and freshen up first. Wear some spray perfume so I can come Listen, out. Listen, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. What, what is your problem? What is it that you're looking for out there that I cannot give you here? Oh, really? Give me sex right now. Hot sex. No way. No way. I will not stain my fasting for your lawful desires for sex. Yes, I will wait on here from the Lord until God says I should, I should do it. <laughs> this God has suffered from your hand, though. <laughs> you are now putting application for sex. Can I sex today? Can I sex tomorrow? You will not what? Sex. No sex until I hear from the Lord my God, in whom I serve, in whom I put my trust in, and in whom will never fail me. Uh, very well. Very, very good. Get out of my way. No. So, look, don't make me do what I will regret to. Oh. Do you understand? If I handle you now, fling your one finger across this room now, they will say I'm violent. You understand? Let me go. Okay? Let you are me... not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. You will stay in this house with me. What was what, the meaning of that? Nsira! 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 Come on. Jed! Hey, Shabby, we're in this house together now. You will come here and come and meet me. Nonsense. Jed! <clears throat> okay. You, you, are, you are talking to another woman while I'm here. You don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even I have destroyed my marriage with my own hands <sighs> this thing I'm doing like this is it wise So, ma, that's what's been happening in my marriage. Sister Piola. Yes, ma. 
Can you remind me what God says about parents and honor? Honor your parents so that your days will be long. Very good. But I'm wondering why you're talking to me about my parents and, and honor when it's my marriage that needs help here. Do you remember when you came here to see me and decided you wanted to marry this young man who was just a baby in the faith? I warned you to look for a giant in the spirit kind of man. But you did not listen. If you had honored my words, surely the days of your marriage would have been long. Sorry, mommy. <sighs> okay. Let's pray. Hey, darling. Have you had something to eat? Yeah, keep your food for yourself and for your ancestors. Where is this one coming from now? By the way, where are you coming from looking like this? I went to see that um, lady council, the one I told you about. Um, she's a pastor in our church. Liar! You think I'm a child? If you ever look into my face and lie to me like this again, you will know why my father named me with them. Nonsense. Why would I lie to you? Honestly, that's where I have been. Besides, how about some people who have left some people in the house to go and hang out with their lady friends in the hotels? Hey, 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 stop that. Don't turn this around, okay? I get to do the interrogating in this house, not you. Is that how we operate now? Who's operating with you? You know what? I don't even have the time and energy to argue with you right now. I am going to go into that kitchen and make you something to eat. Excuse me. Hey, don't try me, you. You are trying me. Hmm. You don't know me. I'm a sexually frustrated person. My dear. I'm very happy you're doing well with this prayer and fasting. Very soon, the result will shock you. Hmm. Well, it's just that, um, I think Jed is just running out of patience. Leave him! Oh. God will deal with him internally. Are you hearing me? The battle is of the Lord's. Not yours. Hallelujah. I don't even know what is wrong with you young people, you, you young people of nowadays. Eh? You just seem to be in a hurry and everything. What have you even seen in this life? No, ma. It, oh. it, it, it's not like that. It's just that you need to see the fire in his eyes when Jed talks about these things. Eh? Ignore him. I say leave him. He's going to come around. Just let him be with his antiques. Are you getting my point? Focus. Because the, the enemy want to dance Kelewu in your marriage by using him and this is behavior you are seeing now. Are you getting me? Uh, it's not like that, mom. It, it's just that you need to see the fire in Jed's eyes when he's talking about these things. Leave that fire you are seeing. Concentrate on your prayer and fasting. The assignment I gave you. By the time you finish, you will realize your eyes will open and you will, you will realize whether this man is your husband or not. Are you hearing me? Yeah. My dear. I can see you're associating with jobless and frustrated people. All right, they're your counselors and your and your advisors now. Abby, do not speak vile of a woman of God. That is a true woman of God. Ah! You want to go my foot? 
This one. If you know what is good for yourself, get rid of this woman before I get back. I don't tell you. Yeah, I believe you heard me. Yes. My darling. Yes, ma'am. Is there any issue? No, no, no. Not at all, ma'am. The mood of your husband's face is saying something else. Oh, no, no, no. It's just work stress. My daughter, that man's face I, I just saw shows me in the spirit that he is not your husband. Hmm. Hmm. Are you getting my point? Yes. Just concentrate on your prayer fasting. Everything will be revealed more and more to me. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Amen. I have to go with that. Okay. Don't forget what I told you. For everything to go well, you need to do what? Lock up. Lock up, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are up. you hearing me? Yes. When I said lock up, lock up everywhere lock up so that he will not gain access to you so that he will not spoil this your prayer and fasting no me i fast in my house man. you know how stressful it is thank you my dear i will this one to wash my mouth i bless you my dear is there a hand i came with some new kitchen when i was coming Thank you. Thank you. Right. Don't forget. Yes, Look up. Yes, ma'am. Look up. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Sure. Hey, you. Take it. Read it carefully and thoroughly. No more going to that here church. No more coming home from 7 p.m. and above. No more going to see that lady counselor. No more fasting except the one I authorize. Read number one again. No more going to that. Take number one and number three seriously. Jed, what kind of thing is this now? Last time I checked, you, you, could, you can still read and you can write. Ah, six. Take rule number one and number three seriously. Jed, what type of thing is this now? Exactly what it says and exactly what it means. What kind of rules are these now? You specifically lady and passes are not going to church again. I never said you should not go to church again. I only said you do not go to that your church again. That your church where they teach you nothing but rubbish. Where you have no respect for, 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 for your God or even your husband. You're saying this because of the fasting and prayer. Don't touch me, yo. Mm -mm. Uh, you cannot touch me. You know you are supposed to. This, I'm unclean. And people like yourself are supposed to concentrate themselves away from people like that. No, the thing is, listen, this, this fasting will soon be over, and I can give you anything yeah, you want to do. Ah, this thing cannot happen, no. Ah, this thing cannot happen. It is already happening, except I'm not the man, no. It is already happening. What kind of military regime rule is this now? Ah, this thing cannot happen, no. It can't happen. Let me emphasize. Do not go to that place again to go and see that woman, that stupid woman you are seeing, and you cannot talk to her on the phone. You understand me? It can't happen, no. It can't happen. I'm going to go. I, I will go. What 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 doing of this now? It's not possible. What I start, I must finish it. Ah, I started this thing already. Only thirty days. Only you will not allow people fast in peace. What about people that travel for four months, four months to call? Is it because? So consecrate yourself away from my house, okay? You will consecrate yourself from this building, from this compound. And go and meet people that can live with you, holy people. 
bullshit. It can't, it, it can't happen, no? Um, I'm going for that all night I told you about. Jeremiah! Yes, Olga. I better lock that gate and bring me the key. Ah, honey. I really need to go to church. Why are you asking him to lock the gates now? When I told you that you will not be going to that church again, you thought I was joking. Oh, eh? But I am doing this for us. I'm doing this for yourself. I can see that very clearly. I think you better go back inside. Ha, ha. What kind of... Come on, will you get out of there? there. Honey, why, why are you like this now? What was what's all this now? So, okay, what am I going to tell, tell my church members now? What will I tell my friends? The women in church. The lady counselor. What reason will I give them for not coming for, for all night tonight? You better go back inside. Honey, this is for us, so. Let's go and do our own night vigil inside. This is the flesh speaking. This is not what the Lord our God wants for us. I can see your flesh. It's very loud. My husband. I'm sorry I've been such a bad wife to you. Please forgive me. I promise I'll make amends and be a better wife for you. Could it be that she has really changed her mind? Does she want to give it to me hot hot today? I'm here, sir. Let us see how it goes. Today. I thought it was coming. Do you think it was coming? Are you a toddler? Go on and wash your or something, please. Mama, why are you talking to me like this now? I didn't know it was coming today. It was meant to start tomorrow. Mama, would I come here to just mess myself up like this? So you think your thing was coming? Came in here to 
come and just excite me, raise up my sound, and then you will now go. Oh, okay. Why are you this wicked? Do you know what? Let me go and clean up. I'll come back. So that what can happen? We can at least spend time together now. Have you tried sex? I beg of you to go this way. Go and watch this thing. Get up before this thing starts to smell. Hello, darling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course, I miss you. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sandra, now wow. Of all the time to call somebody's now, I was using my phone pretending like I was talking to a man, and then your call came in. Why are you laughing now? I was trying to deceive him now. I swear, you are just looking at me like I was a fool. Can you imagine? Babe, please, can you come around? I need to see you. It's too much, too much going on. We need to talk about a lot of things. All right. See you. Bye. Who's it? I'm coming. Open the door, my friend. I see they're hmm. expecting someone else. Sandy, baby. Hi, I don't know. I'm fine. <laughs> Come on in. Mm -hmm. -uh. You met me well, though. Mm, what are you having? I'm eating fruits. Do you want some? This one is appetizer. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you don't want some? No. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I know. That the thing is, my fasting and prayer session has even ended. Yet Jed is nowhere to be found. He doesn't even stay in this house anymore. Do you have an idea where he spends his night? I don't. All I know is that he comes here in the morning, takes a shower, changes, and goes right back out. This thing is becoming serious. You're gradually pushing your husband away. What do I do? I've been begging. Every morning I'm there begging, he walks right past me, enters the guest room, takes a shower, changes and, and walks right past me again and, and boom, he's gone. You know, men are like babies. They need to be pampered at all times. And they want you to do what they want at all times. You have to take this thing easy. Sandra, you know, I'm beginning to think that I probably shouldn't have taken this thing this far. You probably shouldn't have. Seriously, you shouldn't have. What do I do now? I don't even have any plausible solution to this problem. My dear, sex is very important to men. They take it dearly. You know, I'm even tired of staying inside this house. Please, I want to go to the garden. It's fine. Go on. It's fine. It's fine.
Hello? Yes. Accident where? But he was just here 30 minutes ago. No, 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 no. I, I won't call anyone let, yet. Let me just come through and see and see the situation. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Mrs. Udemba. My husband was brought here. He was involved in an accident. I don't know how is he. Madam, relax, relax. Your husband will be fine. But just that we are suspecting him to be having testicular disorder. So we'll run one or two tests on him and find out if there's any other cause. Although, however, you have to make a down payment of 100,000 euros. Oh, that's fine. I'll just run out to go to the ATM. Okay, can I see him now? No, that won't be a problem at all. But that should be after you must admit the payment of 100,000 euros. All right, Mrs. Udeba, you can come in now and see your husband. Check up on you. Thank you, ma'am. Please take care of my brother. I will. Hmm? I will. Ma, Juan, please um, let me know once you get home. All right. I will, eh? Except you are okay that I'm not okay. Because I am not okay. I am not okay. Oh. I am not okay. Yeah, I regret marrying you. I regret it. I regret it. I will not lie to you. I do not feel like a man who has found a good thing now. I have found a wife and found a good thing. Because it seems the only purpose is to cause me pain and sorrow and sadness. How can you say things like that to me? How can I not say it? Just look at it. I don't understand all of these things now. I don't know. When I wanted to get married, I knew the kind of woman I wanted to marry. I, I imagined that I was going to marry a wife that would love me and care for me. One that, that, that would make me happy. I, I wanted to make fun memories of just the two of us, even without the kids. I don't have any of those things. No, I've gone from problem to problem, from problem to problem. 
I've only been married with you for two months and I'm already tired of it. Piolum, I'm tired of this marriage you call marriage. I'm tired of it. What have I done to dampen your happiness so? Remember the night we got married? You played all kinds of games. We ended up not having sex that night. Piolum, how you've prevented us from having sex up until today? Today, I don't know how you did it. I've not seen your pant once, even once. Pierre, are you a witch? Are you a witch? Don't do you keep quiet. Don't honor me. I don't want to hear him from you. I don't even know why did you choose to get married. What was your reason for getting married? What what is what 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 were you thinking? First of all, you said you are afraid to get pregnant, and then after. You went into this, your church, you say you were having fasting. This thing went on for weeks and weeks and weeks. You say you are fasting, fasting, fasting. First, you say you are consecrating yourself from me. You are consecrating yourself from the body of your husband. Eh? And because of the problem you are causing now, I, I, I was running on the road. I went to, 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 to have accident because I was thinking about your problem. It was quick. For you to have sex with me many months after we have married, to me to even have sex with you once. You know, it was because of your problem that I went to have an accident. And as if God was trying to play pranks on me, guess where I have the accident now? Testicular trauma. Tell me if I'm not being bewitched. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to have children now for the rest of my life. I'm tired. I'm tired of this marriage. Here. Yeah? Carry your witchcraft, leave me, I'm tired. In fact, I was forced to call my mom that I wanted to come and spend the weekend. And I made my mom believe that my husband was aware of it. Wow! Where do we have it? Oh, my precious daughter. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you. Oh, that is so good. Ah, oh, I was so young. The Lord has been good. Oh! This is it. Let's go in. Thank you. That's fine. So why didn't you just take a break to come with you, madam? Because mom is busy. That does not mean that you should not at least come to spend the weekend with us. We have not seen both of you since after the wedding. But mom, you're seeing me now. If you see one person, that means you've seen both of us. After all, the two become one, remember? Okay. No problem. I tried ringing him up earlier today to let him know we've seen you. But he wasn't picking me. Um, I don't know. Maybe he'll call you tomorrow. Because, you know, now that I'm away, I am definitely sure he will go to bed pretty early. <sighs> okay. So, how is married life treating you? I hope you're being submissive and taking good care of your husband. Is he complaining? I mean, I'm trying my best, Mom. Why are you being on the defensive? Are you okay? I hope the delay in pregnancy is not putting you under extreme pressure. Um, no, Mom. It's not. Everything is okay and we're fine with it. I mean, it's nothing to worry about at the moment. It's not even a year yet, so... Because I waited three years before I got pregnant with your brother. Then you followed. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I know, Mom. I know. 
Are you expecting anyone? No, I'm not expecting anybody. Um, it could be my neighbor. Maybe they want something. Okay. Okay. Now listen to me and listen real good. Now where do I start from? Where, where do we start? Do I start from this teeth? Yes. Okay. Or start from this flat? Yeah. I see, you ain't got time to waste, man. Let's set the ball rolling. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down! Yeah! Get down! Get down! I don't need it. What you say, sir? What you want to say? Say what you want to say. Ain't got time. Please don't do it with me. I have been raped before and, and he ruined my life. I've been married now for a while and I can't bring myself to sleep with my husband. No, it's like I'm emotional right now. Come on. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll tell you something. Now listen to me and listen real good. Mm -hmm. Next time you won't be this lucky. You hear me? What did I say? Next time. Next time. I'm gonna hit your ha ha. What did I say? You're gonna hit the ha. Say it again. Next time you go hit the ha. Say it again. You go hit the ha. Hey, 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 hey. I know escaped that part. I didn't get. I was raped and molested at age 11. And that was also reason I was scared of having sex ever again or even allowing my husband to touch me. The trauma and what people told me afterwards clouded me till I got married. Daughter, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Relax. My dear, not to worry. We'll be with you every step of the way. Okay? We know how you feel. <sighs> Come to think of it. Did her husband call? Did he call you? <laughs> he did not. It's alright. Right. Don't worry. I'll call him myself. Thank you. Just Honey, please, love. go get her something to eat. No, 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 I'm not hungry. I can't. I'm not hungry. No, no. I don't want to. Do you want to starve yourself to death? Let me go and get something for her to eat, no, okay? No, 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 stay, stay, stay. Okay. Please, please, please. Daddy, no, 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 no. go. Right. Daddy, it's all right. He'll be back. Daddy. He'll be fine. Don't worry. Let me get you something. <laughs> Daddy, honey, please hurry up, okay? Daddy, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay.
think, I think I just, I'll just give up. I've, I've gone through different emotions, Mom. From sadness to pain to, to anger and now I'm just blank and I have resigned to fate. No, my dear. You can't resign to fate. All you need to do is to pray and work it out. I don't have the strength to pray anymore. Strength has eluded me, Mom. I've tried to understand Jed's actions towards me. And I've come to the conclusion that he doesn't love me enough to fight for us. Why would you say that? I sent him several text messages, Mom. He didn't even deem it fit to reply with one of them. That's the point. I don't understand how a man remains silent after hearing all his wife had gone through. The point is this. What exactly is happening between you and your husband? Pierre, you know what? My husband and I have tried. You've been staying with us for over a month and we have been taking care of you. And you keep on saying there's nothing wrong, there is nothing wrong. I have been married for 35 years and I know more than me. Oh, please. I don't even have the strength to argue. My husband and I have decided that you can no longer continue to stay here. We cannot continue to have a married woman. Yes, since you and your husband have no respect for us to seek for advice. Mom. Oh, please go back to your husband or to wherever you like. You cannot continue to stay under our roof. Mom! Yes, daughter. Jed and I. Jed and I are having serious problems. Hmm. I don't see a problem here. I see a complicated misunderstanding. He is not a monster. This can be resolved. So what do we do now, Mom? You need to find your way through to him. Come, 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 girl. Come, my baby girl. Come, my darling, come. Everything will be fine, okay? Things will be okay between you and Chad. Calm down, okay? You two love yourselves so much. I don't need to be told. I can see that. But love means much more in the presence of forgiveness, understanding, patience, and tolerance. Jed really disappointed me, you know. Gentleman indeed. Pierre. Being married and not trusting your spouse with your kind of sensitive situation is not gentle woman like. Yeah, I am so sorry. I should have been a better man. I promise that I will be your best man from today until forever. Please forgive me. I can see that. I am done here. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Yeah. Mm -hmm.